are just sat here in the sun and Belbo's had his holiday bath. He's not a happy camper. Bilbo! 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 Why are you not happy about your bath? <laughs> the caravan ready for our trip away and I thought I'd show you my new dresses so I bought this one yesterday and that was a Jules one I thought it was pretty and a linen pink one which 
nice and plain. Pretty. Most of my stuff's in a suitcase. So there's quite a lot of it for two weeks, so I'm just going to pack Mr. B. He's got some new shorts. Which we'll probably need ironing again when we get there. Let's hope for some nice weather. It's warm today. More packing away. And my gusto box has just arrived. I've done this last year when we went away on tour. <clears throat> I just got a gusto box for the first couple of days because I just thought it takes the hassle of knowing what to cook for the first few days. So I've got an extra creamy pesto pasta. Lemon crusted cod with pea risotto. Sticky honey mustard posh dogs. So... <clears throat> Mr. B's got proper sausages and I'll, I've got my vegetarian ones that I'm going to use for that. And plant-based smashed, <laughs> plant-based smashed patty burger. So I'm just going to put all the ingredients for that away and put these in the drawer. And that will be easy for the first couple of days. White peaks were shining. Kerebdil, Vanuithal, Karathras, the mountains of Moria, 
at the head of the glen, a torrent flowed like a white lace over an endless ladder of short falls, and a mist of foam hung its filled now with the early sunlight. Frodo halted and looked out over the river, far below him, to Tol Brandir and the birds wheeling in the great gulf of air between him and the untrodden isle. The voice of Rock cupped his chin in his hands, staring eastwards, but seeing little with his eyes. All that had happened since Bilbo left the Shire was passing through his mind, and he recalled and pondered.